Hi Leos and welcome to your monthly reading for mid-August 2019 to mid-September 2019. Wow, I can't believe we are already in August. This year has been flying by. But um, Leos, in case you did miss my message that I uh, posted on my, my channel a couple days ago, I'll just let you guys know that from now on, my monthly readings are going to be um, more inclusive as in I will be talking about singles for those of you guys who are not in a relationship I will still be including you in these monthly readings I will also be talking about people who are in relationships so yes I will be talking about love but it will include singlehood as well as people who are in relationships or in a love connection I will also be talking about you know other life topics like family, friends, um, career, finances, basically anything that I see in this reading that pertains to your life, I will be bringing it up. So that way I will be able to give you even more information that's just not, you know, about your love life. So Leos, I've already shuffled and displayed the cards simply because I do want this video to be short and sweet and straight to the point. I've already shuffled the cards and while I was shuffling, I asked what do my Leos need to know for um, mid-August, for the end of for the end of August to um, mid-September. What are some important information that they need to know concerning their lives? And so the cards that came out were the Will of Fortune, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Strength card, clarified by the King of Swords, the Six of Cups, clarified by the Six of Wands. So. Just sit back, get some tea, get some chips because I'm seeing a lot of valuable information for you. So starting with this Will of Fortune, Leos, um, this is for my single people or this is for people who are trying to move on, trying to see new people, trying to date other people, simply trying to move on from a past lover. Um, this is more so for my viewers who are single. My message for you with this Wheel of Fortune being clarified by this Ten of Pentacles is that you will be getting new love in mid-August to mid-September. Um, now, don't freak out in case you are enjoying singlehood. Um, I'm not saying that you're going to be in a serious commitment within a month. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that you will be seeing new people. A new person will come into your life and there will be an introduction. So perhaps you guys will start out as casual friends or this is just a new person who you will meet and it's going to help you to take your mind off whoever you've been you know dealing with in the past this is going to pretty much um push you forward it's going to encourage you to continue to move forward once you see that oh my gosh there are seven billion people in this world and if one person can't treat me well another person can um, so there will be a lot of blossoming um, connections, friendships, bonds, whatever you want to call it. Um, and there's a lot of potential as well. So this is saying that once you do meet this new person, um, the two of you have, have the potential to blossom the, the connection, the bond between the two of you. Um, this Wheel of Fortune is confirming very strongly for those of you who have moved forward from a past connection. This Wheel of Fortune is confirming that you are doing the right thing. Continue to move forward and you will meet a better suitor. Um, next you have the Five of Swords being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So with these two cards, the saying that I got was, you reap what you sow. I don't know why I heard that intuitively, but that's just what I got. And I'm seeing that for some of you, um, you have been in this like really draining cycle with your with your lover. And I say draining because 
um, there, there's been a lack of progression. You've been dealing with the same BS from them over and over for years. Nothing has changed. There's no growth. And so what I'm seeing here with this Five of Swords being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, someone's having a change of heart and it's whoever hurt you. Now, I'm not here to say who did you wrong because this is a general reading, but understand that this is pertaining to some of you, not all, but for those of you where you've been in, you know, a relationship, a love connection with someone, and it's been like a cycle, you know, when I say cycle, think of a circle where it's like ongoing the same problems over and over and over. There's no changes. This person has been doing the same BS that they've been doing to you for years you know, there's no surprises when it comes to this person and the way they treat you or hurt you. But it seems like whoever is in the wrong, whoever is the partner who has been very unhealthy towards you, they're having a change of heart. And it's like, now that the damage has been done, because I'm seeing heavy, heavy betrayal, that's why I said that this connection for some of you is very draining. So it seems like someone is pretty much done being a player, someone is done being a child, someone is done being a boy or a girl, someone who is an adult. So when I say that they're done being a boy, that means that they're done acting immature. Um, but someone, it's, it's like they've had a wake up call, a change of mind, and they're trying to fix things with you because they've realized that throughout the years they have not they may have not been a healthy partner for you but the history is there it's almost like they're thinking to themselves man I've basically ruined everything I've hurt them you know I've betrayed them I've been a horrible partner to them but I have a lot of responsibilities with them. When I see the Seven of Pentacles, this is someone who is reflecting on their responsibilities, everything that they have with someone else, whether this is marriage, financial responsibilities, children, whatever it is, this person is having a change of, change of heart because they feel like they fear, okay, they fear you officially or permanently leaving them because they feel like if you leave them, Who's going to take care of this responsibility that they have with you? It's like the damage has been done. And if you were to leave them, it would be just. It would be fair. But it seems like the player here has had, you know, they've had their cake. They've they've had it all. They're, they're done having a good time. And now they're reflecting on everything that they have with you. They're reflecting on their history with you. And it's like they're trying to almost... It's 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 like it's like they're saying to themselves, OK, now that, you know, I've had a blast now that I've, you know, slept around or done whatever. Now that I'm done doing that, maybe I should act like a good partner. Maybe I should act responsible. Maybe I should take care of my family. Maybe I should spend more time with my wife or my girlfriend. It's like now they're they're having like I don't I don't even want to say doubts because I'm not sure if this person is changing genuinely it's almost like they finally realize oh my gosh I have huge responsibilities with this person and I don't want to waste all that time all those years that I spent with them I don't want to waste it so I might as well just you know behave myself and and and, and settle with them that's just what I'm getting um, but this person has absolutely caused a lot of damage in this connection, which is interesting that now they're wanting to reflect on, you know, their their history with you. It's like now they value you considering how long the two of you guys have been together. Next, you have the strength card um, being clarified by the king of swords. So this is for my people who are having a really hard time with releasing the past as in forgiving, forgiving, forgiving people. Um, I don't care, you know, what you say. You can say, you know, I've moved on. I'm living my best life. I'm no longer talking to this person, um, but I'm fine. I've moved forward. If you are unable to forgive someone you are still carrying the past no matter if it's if physically you've separated yourself from someone physically right 
But if you're unwilling to forgive emotionally and mentally, you're still carrying on the past because it's the, it's the past that's making you to not forgive them. Understand what I'm saying. So with the strength card here being clarified by the king of swords, you're still very defensive towards someone. This could be a lover, a past lover. This could be even for those of you guys who are in a relationship, especially a marriage and your partner um, betrayed you, but you're trying to work it out with them, yet you're still defensive. Even though you're trying to move forward with them, you're still defensive. This is for you as well. This is also for people who, who just have a hard time with forgiving people, forgiving friends who mistreated you, um, you know, just forgiving in general. Yes, you have the strength here to overcome the pain and trauma that they put you through and now you're moving forward, but that you're still carrying those baggages from your past, which is why I said forgive, not necessarily for them, but for yourself. Forgive them for yourself so that you won't be carrying so much hurt and pain from your past so that your past will not still have so much power and influence over your present and your future. There's still some defensiveness that you have towards people. This is a general reading. This could be towards friends. Maybe your friend betrayed you. Maybe an ex-lover betrayed you. Maybe, you know, you're, you're in a marriage or a serious relationship where things did not go well, but you guys are trying to move forward, but you're still angry. Okay, that pain, that that those emotions from the past, you're still carrying them. And so even though you're saying you're moving forward, emotionally and mentally you're not okay and this it's very hard I get it you know we're humans I get it it's very hard to uh, forgive someone or forgive people who have hurt you especially people who have intentionally hurt you but for those of you who are in a relationship with someone who mistreated you but the two of you decided to work on it you already made the decision to to move on with them. You already made the decision to work on it with them. So don't contradict your decision and, you know, say you want to move forward with them when you're still holding something against them, against them, you know, pick or choose, choose one thing and stick to it. If it's hard to forgive them, then let it go. Let the relationship go because there's no point in you moving forward with someone if you're still holding something against them. If they hurt you, yes, you have every right to be to be upset. You have every right to be defensive, but it's unhealthy for you and it's also unhealthy for them. For those of you where it's simply, you know, a family member, a friend who has betrayed you and even though you have physically separated yourself, even though you have ended the friendship or connection with them, you're still carrying something against them. You're not with them anymore. You've distanced yourself from them. There's no need for you to still be so defensive towards them, all right? If you're going to be defensive towards them, you might as well just go and give them a piece of your mind and, and get it off your chest. You know what I mean? But in all seriousness, for my group of people where this this side, this strength card, and this king of swords resonates, forgive you have to forgive. Forgive not necessarily for them, but for yourself. You don't, it's not a good way to live life with a heavy heart. It's not. Okay. So next you have the six of cups being clarified by the six of wands. This is for my people who are still dealing with your exes um, or with your ex. Let me not say exes, but for my people who are still dealing with an ex, a reconciliation will happen. The Six of Cups always, almost always represents a reunion. Someone who is reminiscing of their past, perhaps a, a, a lover from their past and they're wanting to reunite. But I always say that there's a big difference between reuniting and reconciling. Reuniting is two people getting back together. Reconciling is two people getting back together and fixing what was broken, fixing themselves. If it was a bad habit that caused a breakup, they're going to fix themselves. They're going to transform and change so that the next time that they do reunite, that problem won't reoccur. So that's the difference. Here I'm seeing a reunion. I'm not seeing reconciliation because once the reunion comes uh, occurs, once the two of you start 
associating with each other once again. There's going to be a blockage. There's going to be a problem. Very, very intense battle. This is the Six of Wands. There's several people. If you'll look, these are six people and they each have their wands. Okay? So this is this is a, this is commotion, right? This is a, there's a lot of tension. So just just keep in mind that if you do want to return to to an ex, there's a difference between reuniting and reconciling. If you know that your ex had a very bad habit or trait, whatever you want to call it, if the, if they were unhealthy, make sure that they have changed because what's the point of getting with someone who hasn't changed? the the problem's going to reoccur if the if 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 it is you who has a bad habit change try to change for the better so that this time around when you do reunite it will happen successfully okay so leo's thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day